was like a joke, you know? It was kind of embarrassing. It made New Jersey look kind of bad. Um, no, they're kind of douches in real life. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. Nice pickup of nine yards on yeah, first like down. His presence. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. Later on, he became less of a douchebag, though. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Again, it's Edwards. He's from the They'll get three as the drive continues. Yeah. It's a first down. What he just you know that expression? He just he does what he out. does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly I don't say like This one of the runners in the NFL. Um, and all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and in big game. runs. But there's another one of them in Florida, which is interesting. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Oh. And he can't find a receiver, and he's broken. <coughs> the sack by the linebacker, sure. Jameen Davis. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut right down there, by the defense, the so he kept going here. backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. <laughs> After the sack on first down, Herbert letting one go deep here. For Isn't Derek Henry a safety? And that's caught inside the 35. Yeah. <laughs> and what a it's big time play there. Play there. 44 yards. They we expected this game. defense to be tested by this passing <laughs> game coming into this one. Season. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. Dude, he probably, you know, Linebacker. So the big play like changes the, the complexion of things. Wow. Here's first and ten, nice. just outside the thirty. Running left is Edwards, and he's got it down to the twenty-eight. I feel like spin. I could see what he was thinking spin. on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through. I'm like, yo. Ended up uh, only uh, getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on yeah, that one being bigger. I don't even know who to be here. Like, I'm probably gonna do this. To throw on second and six. Herbert, a swing pass here to Edwards. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they yeah, want yeah, him yeah. involved, just as you said. Like, they want to touch it either in the running game or the passing game. Right, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Something about controlling the time. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. Yard gain there to make it second and nine. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. If that guy attacking didn't get you, you probably had a touchdown because they blocked the back safety. So there was like no one else back there. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. No score after one on EA Sports. Damn, I haven't played man in a bit. Still nine remaining on second down. Here's Herbert. Throw left 
side complete. That's Patterson. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget So honestly, to fuck that up, maybe the motion really running back to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. Is he still running the same blitz or did he change that? Carlson able to put this one through. But no, that he run all do what I do. He run in that same blitz. So they're able blitz. to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And uh, ideally, you want to end every yeah, drive with points. Point. Yeah, yeah. Most quarterbacks you tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. A fairly short kick from the 14. Now the NFC going to call the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. I just say the NFC. Starts with a carry by Edwards. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. run got nine that leaves him with second and a yard they run once more with Edwards and they get him down the line before he takes it across the 40 yard line 12 yards there and a first down they were not fooling around at all were they second and short and they brought out that heavy package almost got the super heavy package against that defense didn't it yeah i don't think they expected that much beef up front and it turned into an easy first down conversion <gasps> what dude he's on fire how's it not a fumble that's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run and a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play you're gonna smother it but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Well, that's a, that's a Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Whoa. here's Edwards. Oh, he's got a little daylight. 50 yards hard. rushing so far, and this is just their first possession. Yeah, they've got a new set of downs here. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into a great pocket by the running back quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot great mesh point by them 
the timing on point, the run even better. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Lawrence to throw. He'll go underneath, dropping it off to Edwards. And they move this all the way down to the nine. The good uh, pick up there of 20 yards. Charge. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. They'll run here with Edwards. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Lawrence will throw. What? And it's caught. Oh. Touchdown. Calvin Johnson from 10 yards out. And the NFC has taken the lead. That could be an important swing right there. Touchdown in the final minute and a half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because... Bro, I was like guarding lead, him and then he just that like... The locker room at the half. They feel really good about he just like cut. In the first two quarters. <laughs> I was just like... I was in a uh, zone though. Damn, the guy on him was After like the left in the dust. Is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Thanks. Uh, a fairly short kick from the 14. <laughs> to about the Yo, yard line the 25. I'm like, come on, Saka, give me this. Bro, his change of direction is like slow as fuck. Oh, man. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Oh, it's a got, little under a minute that remaining. We'll see if they want to try to put a drive together, right, possibly right. even take the lead here with a touchdown. Uh, I just heard, like, I used to have a player that made a noise when we'd be on fire. On first down, Justin Herbert. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. You don't really have much time to throw, so you have to come up with some quick stuff. About five line. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, uh, second and ten. Nah, they got, uh, that was Herbert now. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Third down, here's Patterson. Now the ball is loose. And it's scooped up by the <laughs> NFC. And they have the football uh, on the shot at the 33-yard line. He was trying to do anything he could to get that final little bit for the first down. Instead, he lost the ball. Yeah, and he was short of the first down, but not by much. Trying his best, as you noted, to get there. Sometimes that extra effort can cost you. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack. And I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one. But occasionally, the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scared <gasps> it perfectly. Maybe someone took it. Oh, no. It had no chance. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. I'm hurt, bro. You got you the football. No, game. It's you really fucking close. You got to cash in. Play the blue, maybe? On third down, Lawrence. And he'll be hit as he releases it. This <laughs> is running around mesh and Y. <laughs> because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now, Joe, did you get penalized for that? But I'm like, yeah, he throws the fucking ball. Like, I'm, uh, I'm picking it off. Uh, 
Folks kick is good. Yeah. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. Moss. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. They're <laughs> probably going to come in for the partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard yeah, line. Just taking them like shit. Might just go down. The offense back out there at the line. Ready well, I tried to flash, bro. I guess I flash. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Exit, you think? Yeah. No, I can't. On first and ten. What the? And he cannot <laughs> get rid of it. The NFC getting in there for the oh, sack. Yes, I will. And I'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Bro, isn't he coming out in that mid blitz shit? He's spamming the mid blitz on you. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. A short kick taken at the 18. Oh, the and the right there at the 25 yard line. <laughs> ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. There's a lot of first down that doesn't accomplish Where anything. Going? In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. Two things to watch. First is strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. There's the fullback now. It's Keith Smith, and he's able to plow forward up to about the 20. Yeah, honestly, I got, <laughs> I got faked that too. I don't even know where I was on that play. Dude. About six yards oh, to go. Man. On just about every got team. Me. Okay, forget it. On every team, the goal is to be in third and what they call manageable to give yourself a chance to pick up a first down. How about that call on second down? The big man puts them in position to make it third and manageable. I wonder if they'll get a second chance at it to try and pick up the first down. So good work there on the defensive side for the first drive of the second half. And until their offense can get into rhythm, their defensive players and staff have got to say to themselves, We've got to make it work. We've got to stand in here and make sure nothing else happens until our guys start moving the ball. I got the right one. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence, he finds his man, Johnson. And he will be taken down the night before he's got the NFC first down. So they take a chance on fourth. Why not in this game? And it's going to pay off with a new set of downs. And some room to maneuver. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 69 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Right, so on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Quick completion here to Johnson. And they're going to work this down to about the 32 yard line. Was that uh, a design pass uh, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting the receiver on the run. On second down, it's Edwards. He needed, but nothing more. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, bro, you're trying to salt away a game. This is exactly what it's supposed to look like. I can't believe I just missed that. Come on. So first and ten now from the 30. 
They'll run the toss here. Edwards. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Up the middle, here's Edwards. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety right coming up and making the big time play? In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Up the middle, it's Edwards. Yeah. And this won't be enough. Yeah. Stop the yard short after Fuck a gain you. of three. Fourth down. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop them short of a first down. Just come out of the trips, bro. I fucking hate this. Take a break. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, oh, man, taking their sucks. time, and making it work. Oh, how about this oh, on first and goal? <laughs> That's a gain of seven, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. At least. <laughs> Three quarters in the books. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. It's AFC football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Edwards. The fuck? Oh, it's RPO. If he had passed it. Oh, I thought I was going to get him there, dude. He didn't hit the RPO. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't Why couldn't he try to And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. He was mad, I guess, that it was an RPO. Yeah, he just hit it off. After the touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And able to get this out to the 25. Shit, they only got Rocket League. PUBG was short lived. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. On first down, it's Herbert. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. The and he'll be taken down. Yeah. Down to <laughs> At least you got it off, bro. Like shit. From the 50, here's Herbert. Gronkowski got it. Dude, that comes to run that play for him. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be down behind the court, getting his feet inside the 30. For eons, bro, forever. Like, I literally preached that fucking play. Now it's Herbert. Ah! Oh. <laughs> good try. Yeah. That specific burst that was fine. Like Gronk is almost always open on that play, right there. or the or the fucking drag. Gronk or the drag. He's coming out of the play downfield. Everyone seeking to be oh, yeah. somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. Now Lawrence on first down. No! And fuck! It's Calvin Johnson. <laughs> oh, man. I pictured that going a lot different in my head, dude. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was going to guard his ass. Nah, I'm going to guard him. Why is he outside the red zone? Lawrence. <gasps> of course! Now on top three, we can hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field. Uh, Warning every one of the fumble. He's 
lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on him. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, the fuck out of here. I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't that make fucking, it easier for them. Yeah, I'm like, to yeah, I'm rusty, back. man. I'm usually so lurking the these NFC guys. With I can't. The I'm trying. I'm trying back. my best. They've got a third down now as they look for one yeah, more first down to help right. salt this one away. Really, right Here's here. Lawrence. No, he fucking. Got a man complete. Calvin Johnson. Uh, I would have been able to. I would have been able to guard him. Down about right. the six yard line. All right, he's gonna. Now it looks like he'll throw here. <gasps> Touchdown! <laughs> Robert Woods from six yards away. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. <laughs> he the a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, Bro, I learned that. Like, what? That would have been pick six. It actually loosened you. Who'd actually been back in the game? A few more chances. And definitely All right, you know what? Let's run it back, bro. He certainly We're going to run it back. Try to get in the defense. They made sure that it's going to back now. Just sure. get it to me. And All right, you know what? Try to try to put it in the three score game. Just try to score a touchdown on his Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. It's momentum for the next game because this game's important. A fairly short kick from the 14. I recorded that. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Dude, he literally was lying on his back. And he <laughs> fucking gets up. The offense back yeah, out there. Yeah, that's right. He forced fumbles in the linebackers like that out that fast. But probably line. not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores <laughs> late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yo, I just want you to like literally end. just fucking we chuck it right deep. Don't even look if I'm open or not. Just one see team is clearly yeah, yeah. better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Back to throw here, Herbert. And he's got it to pass. Yo! Across <laughs> midfield, down to the 40. Oh man, I just wrecked that guy. That's wild. Hold on, hold on. Um, yeah, yeah, try to chuck this shit deep. I don't know, I might be, I might be passing a little bit. Herbert on first down now, going up top. <gasps> and this is taken in at the five. <laughs> Yo, we might have found something. Oh, shit. At the three yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. <laughs> and he's gonna get <laughs> I was expecting you to fight. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to fumble it. <laughs> Oh, and the man. offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Yeah, I'm going to... Wait, put me on like an out. Yeah. On second and goal. Herbert, the rifle's run complete into the hands of Gronkowski. <laughs> and this one will wind up hey, with losing out, yardage out. back to the four-yard line. This defense has not surrendered a touchdown yet. You better believe they're determined not to. Oh! Trying there, but this pass is going to end up incomplete. Dude, it's third team, man. Fucking, I'm going to do what it takes. We're scoring a touchdown. Hold on, let me see. I'm going to be, yes, I'm going to be Moss. I'm going to do this route. You can add another completion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Try it, try your best. One last throw here for Herbert. <laughs> Yo, why can't why I didn't hide you that? Like, uh, uh, this is uh, like a yeah, <laughs> Yeah, how's that? I want to see if I could sell some people in my binder.
intense boy. What the hell is this? That's wild, bro. They said that you'd be able to quick sell these tokens and you're never were able to. See what I can get out of a training pass. people. I'm at 373. I need more though. I'm gonna get this, uh, I want this Logan Ryan. 2511 now, damn. So I also have Darrell Revis, but he's a lot. And a Richard Sherman. They're both a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Darrell Rivas has the clutch too. It's not that hard to keep up. I could probably sell some people and get him. I could sell Lane. Night Lane. I bought it for a million, he's only 400 something now. Alright, let's do this. You invite me this time. Pro Overtime. It's like, yeah, you're really creative with the name. 
It's my rear bag, actually. Don't invite me in. People think I put my bed, so everyone else is like, horny. <laughs> then what? Probably gonna stop soon now. Or no, I use the pen. I don't really smoke flour anymore. hybrids I like indica at night I have an indica so like right before I go to bed I just take a hit and like out with Charles Davis as always I'm Brandon Gordon and Charles you talked about storylines in this one I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks certainly two of the best in the business and nowadays I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback the way the game is played with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him if he's not on the top of his game your team's not going to benefit at all Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this one started. And off we go in Matt and Ultimate Team. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line.
Edwards now on first and ten. They find some open field here. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. And that's definitely the way to get things started. That's the way it was drawn up in the locker room, in pregame and everything. And they got it done right away, running the ball for a big game. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. After a play like that, there should be congratulations all the way around. Wow, well, how like that. Like that. Big like that that's, like that. that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Oh, she is. This is Cordero Patterson. Remember, he won a ring with the Pats. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. They've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And this one drops in the end zone. Looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? to the very end all things considered a pretty good That's kick funny. just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar <laughs> if you're gonna hit from that distance sometimes you're gonna need a little luck and unfortunately for him this time the break goes against him so they tried the 59 yarder and missed it and now this offense starts just one yard shy of midfield And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Calvin Johnson, 51 yards. And the Patriots will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. I don't know. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their yeah, opening drive, have Charles. Really we know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because yeah, they can't sucks. replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned him. And I don't think it's the last time they called his number in this one. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Tough night on that. Oh, Cordero yeah. Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start Play at the 12-yard line. The end zone. <laughs> The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Yeah, they were in field goal range last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a top third and four. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line, he provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. He's got it complete to Gronkowski. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. On the handoff, Edwards. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 41 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries in the ball game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A 
Again, it's Edwards. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Now a handoff, Edwards. And he'll be brought down just shy yeah. midfield at the 49-yard line. Yeah, it's a gain of a yard, but that's all they that. needed. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Try the air now with Herbert. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. On second down, a run with Patterson. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. His progression's downfield, forced to get it to his running back. <laughs> about the way they ran <laughs> no, to the football true, true. and knocked him down to force a fourth down. Uh, I 42, I think. Here we go on fourth. Herbert. And this close. is cool. It's pulled in by oh, Gronkowski. Hey. And they'll wind up getting this one all yeah, the way down inside the 20. <laughs> so after the big play on fourth, here's that's the key. <laughs> you need that confidence, that ego boost. <laughs> First and ten, it's Patterson. Oh, <laughs> and he'll take Yo, what a block. <laughs> touchdown. Oh, God. Back on the board. An 18 oh, my touchdown. God. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Six almost, dude. It's almost a two-minute one. Chill <laughs> five. <laughs> and we are oh, tied man. at seven. Nah, sometimes it be like that, bro. Sometimes you just can't fucking like can't find the end zone. Then things just happen. Well, last game didn't fumble. So I'll leave it like, at seven it, like, now. They kick it away. I had it, but I think Patterson fumbled it. Yeah, a fairly short kick from the oh. fourteen. Oh no, 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 no. Slow down. No. <laughs> What the fuck? Switching, you, you had to switch there, honestly. How will the like, respond? Yeah, I'm saying though, like he was using the gun, but he didn't switch to try and tackle now from the 33. Now Lawrence. Let's take it into Gronkowski, and he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash yeah. dropped at the one. <laughs> yeah, that time. I feel that I did the same thing. I, like, I can't even be mad at you. <laughs> uh. oh. Travis Etienne. 
taking it in from a yard out. All right, well, and the Patriots have at least we know that. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one yard line and they're able to push this one for Yeah, you can just see your face right now because I know we're mind melting on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Just a terrible coverage by the Touchdown. And of course, on the two point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? Open mm -hmm. receiver, ball put on him, two yeah, points. Man, start like, giving a touchdown. Who's coming? After the touchdown, it's gay to kick this one away. Oh, you were? From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably were, should have opted for the touchback. Uh, Paul Miley. Oh. That's why he had all the time. <laughs> you were close, but uh, Warren Sapp was like that. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. On second down and four, Herbert. Oh. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for God to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. From the gun, Herbert on third down. He's going to air one out. He's got a man complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Well, far, I'm not sure how this drive is going to end, but how about the way they put field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. What? A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Out of the gun, a run with Patterson. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Play action. It's Herbert. A swing pass here to Edwards. And he'll be run down this time oh, at the five-yard line. And now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. third down now right side that's complete to Gronkowski now another timeout called for by the offense so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime well you have to be aware defensively that you've got two goals because obviously you're trying to prevent the touchdown but you're also trying to keep it from getting a first down as well that time they weren't up to the task and it's first and goal But hold on. Wait. Uh. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Oh. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Pats are going to take over here on the INT at their own five yard line. Charles, one thing that he referenced to us yesterday was his confidence fitting the ball into any window, but obviously that window was a little too tight and it was closing in a hurry. And he was talking to us about having anticipation and making those types of throws. Down near the goal line, I don't think you can... Oh, He's fuck this! Are you kidding me? I pressed Y, bro. Fuck me. I really can't wait for that mess. This is like... This Calvin's crazy. As the first half is winding down, and the Patriots will extend their lead here just before oh, halftime. At that time, it's crazy. So the Patriot offense stays out there, and they'll line up and go for two. Lawrence going to look to throw for it. 
And he is into the end zone for two points as the lead moves up to 16. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a small so corner annoying, on him? Man. Are you going to put a safety that does have maybe the same coverage skills? Like How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Now the ball banked way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the line. I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Right. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And they're going to be waiting for him as they get him behind the line. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the yeah, timeout. Yeah, try that play your money Making him sweat out the, the final ones. few ticks like here in the second it, quarter. Sure. Yeah, I like it. Final shot before the break for Herbert. He's going to let this one go deep. Wow. He's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Damn. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Acrobat no longer the move. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead and they will be getting the football. Pulls it in at the 13. Yeah, I didn't even think I was gonna have a player to. Oh, that just ran across the 50 inside the 25. What a way to start the second half. These uh, guys are showing no signs of letting go. Guys, so dude, we're just like playing like the biggest this possession. That's a day. Yeah, what's good, man? Man, they go play action with Lawrence. Hit that incomplete on a deep ball. Not Yo. his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Flushed out right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Boy, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. Oh, going for Jefferson I swatted. I was afraid. <laughs> I kept getting moss. I kept getting moss, bro. That's what happens when you get moss. You lose confidence in the. I know, it, 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 dude. It's funny because swat always makes it look like that. I swear, if I tried to press swat, I would have got moss or something. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one. As it's good from 56 yards out. And that will extend their lead even further. I even pressed Y another time in that drive. And he didn't even like, I thought it was going to be a short. away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether six points or three points, take everything you can get. Keep maneuvering. Keep adding to it. Keep making it difficult for them to come back. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. Oh, and he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Well, the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. On the game, this is their fullback. 
And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stumped up in the backfield. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Oh. Unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. <laughs> they snap it to Herbert. Turned up. Ah! Incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. Yeah, that's a rough, uh... On first down, Lawrence. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. They started this drive backed up against the wall by the turnover, but I love their fight. Planted their feet and forced the incompletion on first down. Whoa, whoa. Second and ten now, it's Lawrence. And Gronkowski's oh. <laughs> Yo, Gronk was dang. Yeah, he's in. Touchdown. Patriots. Punching it in from a yard away. As his guys had opened up a very comfortable lead. So the Patriot offense stays out there and they'll line up and go for two. They'll look to throw. Oh, there it is. There's the fucking action back on the two point. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you get a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's uh, why no, you gotta be really careful okay, with those man. throws, especially to the outside. Uh, and they got it! They recovered it! Wait, hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Yeah, you gotta wait until that ball goes 10 yards. They did not. They hit it before, and that draws the flag every time. And there's no doubt in my mind that converting an onside kick has never been tougher in the NFL with the new rules. So trying to get it to 10 yards, timing up perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, looking for yeah, yeah, Jefferson, yeah. but this is intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. But a big one, not a whole lot, has gone right for this defense in this ball game. But that's something right there, still in the third quarter. It would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day. They're trying their best to put a disappointment behind them like, yeah, and I find ways to make plays. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Hey, back up, back up. Play action. It's Lawrence. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw, Lawrence. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. <laughs> that could be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly. There's no way he catches that. There's no way he, like, that's fucking retarded, bro. These guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. And that's going to be caught. Calvin Johnson, 40 yards. And the Patriots' decision to go for it. He's off with six points. Now, familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that leads oh, to man. a slider now. This is like the quarter. worst shit I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah! Intercepted at the goal line. Ah! Kevin Meyer. Game, give us that. Even heavy green teams tend to take the best situations. Oh, man. They weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass. Pick it Yo, how the fuck did you catch that, man? 
Following the <laughs> touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Uh. Patterson <laughs> out of the end zone. Oh and my god. Bounds here just past the 20 yard line. <laughs> the offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, C D, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the truck? <laughs> Herbert, his third interception. Jalen Petrie picks it off. And the Patriots oh, are going to take man, possession of the football. Yeah. They exited the pocket trying uh, to get the ball. It was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play. <laughs> We're not even playing. We got a sack. I hate this game. <laughs> Jordan parties and we get a fucking sack. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and twenty-two. There it is again. Dude, <laughs> uh, fuck these guys. We got it. Set themselves behind the chains, try to get it all back. Oh, let me try to muscle that. It backfired. Didn't it feel like a pitcher working his way into a three and zero count? Right, you're behind. Yeah, you're what do your coaches Lawrence, always bro. tell you? Get it back one pitch at a time. Maybe In this case, they tried to get it back right away, and it didn't work out. Yeah, bro. You're killing me. I was behind him. The result only four yards there on the play. No, he guessed wrong. Right. He guessed wrong. Right. I'm not gonna be open again. He guessed wrong. Right. Out of the gun, and Herbert. That his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jesse Bates, and the Pats are going to take possession of the football. Oh, he's going to get a possession. He's going to try to get red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive? Right? They put the gallop. I can't. Patriots get another third oh, quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. <laughs> I'm fucking done. Uh, I was demoralizing. I have to like really weigh out all my abilities really. I think it was the abilities too. Wait, what do you mean the captain? Yeah. He was a 99. Yeah. I'm up, I got another one coming up. And then what, there's a third? Oh no, Trevor Lawrence is free. Yeah. Dude, I'm about to have that 99 uh, <laughs> Megatron, that's crazy. Yeah, what is yours? Um, I'm level 47. That's far down the line. That's gonna, that's gonna be a stretch. This is like on fire ability. Annoying. 
probably should have pressed X a couple of times. Uh, I gotta fix my abilities or something. That 6 AP shit was ass. Yeah, we get six, so. What's up, Show Nation? This is Chris Singleton, and welcome to the show. Tokens for what? No, you used it on uh, Herbert. The game changer token. Yeah, but that gives you like a free ability bucket, doesn't it? Baseball fans and welcome. Diamond Dynasty Baseball on tap tonight. It's the Knights taking on the Donkeys. Set to go. Now it's the DH. Have, uh, Cedric Mullen. You can make your own stadiums and you can upload them to a good network and you can download them and stuff. It's cool. You can use them. And the pitch. Stadium called Down by the Bayou. 
Swing and a miss. And that's how this game gets started. I hit like I hit like eight home runs. I'm just like this is like my first time playing this field. Like my dad didn't know it. <laughs> it was like yeah, this. Foul ball. And I'm like thinking I'm gonna beat him. And then like in the ninth inning, the dude hits like seven home runs. The wide like, kick it it was, like fifteen to like eleven. I lost. That was so mad. Foul ball. It stays. Nothing yeah, literally, in two. Literally like it was wild. Like that's like a cheese. Kicks field. and fires. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking though. There's like a lot of like in the air like, center field. Uh, and there's one away. Yeah. So digging in, Not Jerry Hairston Jr. Seeing so so you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. And there's two down. Oh, yeah, is it fun? Though? Here's Jordan Alvarez. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. And that chance handled. The throw to first, and they get the out on Alvarez. Out number three. Minnesota Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Jerry Hairston Jr. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound, sort of that he's classic head -head. power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it all eyes, around the edges eyes, of the zone, good. and when he has to, fill up the strike zone with confidence that hitters can't touch it. Hunter Renfro in the box now. No balls in a strike. Cole, of yeah, course, the first overall getting... pick by the Clapped Pirates in, in the 2011 <laughs> draft out of UCLA. I was like, and really yeah, blossomed as he moved from Pittsburgh to Houston oh, in 2018. Oh, yeah. And a base yeah. hit to right. Dude, Around yeah, first, I was at the gym second. working out, watching that. And like, Altuve, before, yeah. with a relay, and then I see you throw like there a pitch. easily. <laughs> or like you fumble, oh, it, and I'm like, ah. Oh. Double on a great swing. And the guys just like talking shit on the stage. Steve Ballas, he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Swings through that one oh, for strike one. He's one of the two pitchers to strike out 14 batters in three consecutive games. Pedro Martinez was the other to do it, but Garrett Cole, again, just a dominant pitcher that wants to finish what he starts. Whips it across, okay. and they get Goldschmidt for the out. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. I picked the Bucks. That's what I when I, when I challenged that guy in that in that Discord and shit on him. I picked the Bucks. I uh, just like spammed Scotty Miller. That was pretty funny. He got so mad. He's like, yo, he's like a 70 overall with 90 something speed. I'm like, let's just stop him. <laughs> like, I literally was just like cheesing on him. Brady's nice. He has so many abilities. Damn, this guy just quit or something. What the fuck? I think he quit. Ah, I won. <laughs> Sick. I didn't even have a run. Yo, should I do a Bayou game <laughs> and just hit like 100 home runs? <laughs> what do you mean? This is an event, so there's three inning games. It's pretty dope. Sometimes they go longer if it goes to extra innings, but there's like a runner in second, so those game fairs. In the event, the more wins you get, you eventually get some pretty cool players. Oh shit, I'm home. This is gonna be hilarious. I did that stadium that's like short fences. <laughs> what do you mean? Hello and welcome.
Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Diamond oh, Dynasty dude, Baseball I coming your way it, on the show. Yeah. It's the I rookies like this, this going up against the Knights. For, like, Ready to go uh, now? Yeah. yeah, the batter now. I haven't Brandon really Nimmo. Speed now. I don't change anything else, really. That misses oh. the zone. And this one is off and running. And it's even up. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. <clears throat> Good eye right the there. Knocks that one away, oh, and we'll do it again. Left hand batter waits. We got a full count. That's a really good take. Yeah, he's nice. Right hander kicks deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Yastrzemski hustles it back in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look first for the first throw of the ball game. It's Xander Bogarts yeah. now. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent. Yeah. Like that. Knowing. Anything over their heads. The bit behind with that Good swing. Ball. It's strike one. As a pitcher, you know the yeah, runner on second time. is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's right probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Deal two. Fights it off. He'll see another. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Stepping in, Masataka Yoshida. That one is absolutely belted. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. As a run scores, oh. here's Nolan Arenado. Got to be careful with a slugger you. like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. <laughs> First offering misses the ball. Yo, Luis the Castillo, are also a guy like who debuted high, in so 2017 like with the Reds the at 24 years old, <laughs> multiple All-Star appearances, yeah. traded to the Mariners at the deadline in 2022. Oh my God! You think about That's that so... triple-digit fastball, but the changeup oh is the thing that stands out. Yeah, and you could argue that he's got the best changeup in baseball. Right From the right side, it's like a Bugs Bunny pitch. It works so well off of his fastball. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Brooks Raley. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Freddie Freeman swings through it for strike one. Next pitch misses, and that funny, you is ball one. Well, all game. eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Ground ball could be two. Fired to second, and that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning. Here's a big power threat. Cedric Mullins. It's not something to get into right, like, fast. Like, yeah, I don't know. The pitch. I like you either like it or you don't. Maybe... Got a player, and so first offering is fouled off. Yeah. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think Although, about. I don't know. I never played football. I don't like football a lot. Oh. Makes the grab. And a quick out number one. That was nice. a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it but i think that velocity at the end just beat him instead of a line drive or something hit deep it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense just a weak fly ball this time yoshida pulls that one down 
Yeah, yeah there's two down. That guy that challenged me. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. There's the swing and a miss. Oh, my. <sighs> Tried to hold up on the 0-2. Oh, oh, now a look down to third. And he went around. That's ruled a swing. Check swing. He calls it a swing. Hates me. That one ran okay. inside. Almost got him. What to now? And another ball. Yeah, it's through for a hit. Bad. And that keeps the inning going. A short pass to the running back and bearing it really bad. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. <laughs> to me, it's just a really controlled, yeah. balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed it's disciplined, got pass, the barrel to the ball, and put it in back. play. Pete Alonso swings it through it for strike one. Next pitch is outside. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't uh, come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. And yeah, the righty deals. Foul ball oh, still a one man. and two count. The pitch. And that one upstairs. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. 3 2 now. Oh, and a foul oh. ball. He stays alive. Three and two. Payoff pitch stays alive ladies and gentlemen your attention please now pitchers Jorge are you going to switch pitchers mid, mid fucking half at it foul we'll see another payoff pitch Alvarez leads off first with two down to the inning yeah <laughs> I have myself like a nine pitch, at, ten pitch at bat. I'm not giving up. Oh! Next offering is foul back. Right right Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. The three-two oh, is the off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Mike Yastrzemski can't hold up, and that's a strike. Fly oh, ball right. down the right field line. Baby. This one's Three got a chance. Oh, Three one. <laughs> Mike Yastrzemski <laughs> leaves the yard, yeah. and they jump out front. Oh, it's 3 dude. 1. He fucking threw and a fastball high. It is Will game, Smith. Man. I've been a home run anyway. That first offering is fouled yeah. off. The other game, I was hitting home runs. One of them was like 330. That's when I realized the balls were short. <laughs> Here's a rip to short, but he's there <laughs> yeah, for the third out. Feet is like probably two stadiums with that distance. It's Back like here at the ball ballpark, all set for the start of the year. <laughs> Yadi Diaz down. The pitch. Like usually it's like 350, 380. In the air, out to center, Yastrzemski under this one. Who made the, the stadium now? It's pretty fire. It's got like and now it's Brandon Lau. It looks like it's like some stadium along the, the Mississippi River. The bayou, whatever the fuck the bayou is. Is that Louisiana? And the first pitch oh. misses for ball one. 1-0. One -oh. What's the bayou? It's the Louisiana. Out front with the swing, and that is strike one. Really need to, stay so really need to hang in there like with that front the side against this left-handed breaking ball. It's like, shit. And he grounds one back up the middle. Toss to Alonzo. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Randy at Rosarena. New pitcher on here, Kenley Jansen. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better Kenley. ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's yeah, very high, and it just breaks a ton.
Like, Here comes the old one. 14 and nine, head to head. Um, Out to short. Toss to Alonzo, and that will end the <laughs> inning. Like, yeah, like, what? Damn, so you're fucking him up. And welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. And no now way. here is Harper. Lopez back to work. On the ground, right side. Tosses the first. One up, one down. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. The 1-1. One, one. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Nimmo has it sized up. Puts it away for the out. I am going to use this thing. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Rips one to right. Yoshida makes the catch. <laughs> And that's the inning. Top half of the third inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Wilson Contreras. Here comes a pitch. This to third. Guerrero, the toss to first. One up, one down. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Mr. 10 pitch at bat. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Guerrero takes it in for the out. Two down. So it's their last chance in this one. And now the shortstop, Xander Bogart. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Xander Bogart hits one out. And they cut into the lead. It's 3-2. New pitcher on now, Zach Britton. And this guy. Shit, now he's gonna sub in the righty. Oh, actually, this is. I could uh, blow up here. This is what happened last time. Just... <laughs> this is what happened last time. I still got last legs. Yeah, confidence. Yeah, yeah, if you start sucking, it's, it's worse. Like. It's... To bring it velocity wise. And like their, their hitting cursor gets better. <laughs> Put it right in against this lefty. Yeah. That one's in there. That's strike one. Baseball runs of the family for Zach Britton. His brother Buck has been a minor league manager in the Orioles system since oh, 2018. Foul ball God. there. Yeah, so Buck was named so manager of the know, year man. of the Eastern League for the Bowie Bay yeah. Sox back in 2019. Down to their final strike. Oh, how do you not see Lefty continues to work with the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Oh, what? Bro, that was the worst pitch ever. He swings at it and somehow makes contact instead of striking that. 2 2. Strike him out. Damn, and that's the ball game. Well, three inning games are pretty exciting, and this one did not disappoint. <laughs> Tons of offense, but this it came down to just game, one run. That stadium is sketchy as fuck. Yeah, it would. Thank God. Three run homer, that's all it takes sometimes. <laughs> that guy's ERA is a 7.5 from that. I mean, he did put in like a 70 overall pitcher for some dumbass. Well, the event, you have to use specific players. He probably doesn't have your players.
Catch you later. Be good. Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's Boston taking on New Jersey. First pitch coming your way next. And now, Jerry Hairston Jr. The second baseman, Jerry Hairston Jr. And a pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And now the center fielder, Sidane Rafaela. First offering in the dirt. And that's in for a strike. I think he was sitting off speed right one there because he just let the fastball go by. Next pitch no is one. in the dirt, and that's ball two. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. 2-2 two -two now. Out towards left center. Alvarez makes the grab, and there's two gone. Here's the left fielder, Kevin Alcantara. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Swings through that one, 0-1. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Oh, Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically oh, that yeah, team yeah. that hit it thinks that they've got yeah, a base yeah. hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes yeah, it away. Yeah. Kick San Diego's. Whatever. Just oh, missed. Really? And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. 3-2 now. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That'll fire up the dugout, and that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. Now it's Hunter what? Renfro. No, I had some yesterday. Yeah, I think so. 
Ground ball, Vlad Jr. How did he bad? Over to first, nope. and Renfro is retired. I think he did. And stepping in is the speedy Cedric Mullins. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Come in soon. And there's a ball. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. He goes down looking. Now it's the shortstop, Jerry Hairston Jr. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is fouled back. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Good. One down, base is empty. And yeah, that's too high. Blind into right. Renfro brings it in. And there's two away. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez, who's from Cuba, he grew up idolizing a future teammate. Yuli Gurriel, who is 13 years his senior. Next one, one, one. in the dirt. Oh. Next pitch has popped up. McGarry makes the play, and it's out number three. <coughs> Second inning Please set go. to go. Stepping in the long Does ball threat, good? Matt Walmer. Walmer. They say you win. Your ball's one strike. That one that misses, miss, and it's one and one. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Alvarez takes it in for the out. And there's one down. Ronnie Mauricio now. And now time is called as we'll get a visit to the mound. Two relievers just got up to throw out there in the bullpen. And first offering is fouled off. Chris, you look at Garrett Cole, and he changed in terms of his profile. He threw a lot of sinkers when he was with the Pirates, when he went to Houston. Oh. Everything changed. More four-seamers and more reliance on the breaking ball. Hard ground ball, base now. Everything came together for him. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Zach Britton on the pitch here. He has a great slider with tons of movement. The 0-1. Swing, and that one hammered. Down the line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is out of here. He'll circle the bases, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. So up next, number 94. And first offering is fouled off. Well, that's where you want to be right there. All over that first pitch fastball. Just a little too much hook on it. Straighten that thing out. You get to jog around the bases. And that one is lifted in the air. Gone! That one barely got out of here. And they add a run. It's 4 nothing. One down. And now the first baseman, Austin Wells. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. 
pulls it down, and there's two gone. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Rip to short. Throws the first. Third out, and that ends the first. Welcome back. Digging in, Pete Alonso. The first baseman. Alonso. All right, singing, you know him, a dork. Shohei Otani. Go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. Right-handed reliever. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. And yeah, the one-two misses to even the count. pitch got him looking down on strikes and he knew it here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate and there's a foul ball in the air left field Alcantara snags it for the second out two outs base is empty the batter now will be Will Smith first offering and it just misses one ball, no strike. And that's in for a strike. Righty to the plate. And down on strikes he goes. And good work. Back here at the ballpark. And now here is Sidane Rafaela. Britton back to work. Just off the outside edge. Britton in his 11th season. He features a sinker, a slider, and he works in a four-seamer. 2-0. And fouled off. 2-1 now. And it's fouled away. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. And now the lefty. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Strike three. Got him with the backdoor breaking ball. Kevin Alcantara now at the plate. The solo homer his first time. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Ryan Helsley. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. <laughs> Ball one, oh. no strikes. Oh, yeah. And that's a strike. <laughs> Next offering is in for a strike. And a ball evens the count. Two two. two two now. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now it's Hunter Renfro. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. That one ripped. Way back there. Out of here. Hunter Renfro hits one out, and they add to their lead. It's five zip. And now Matt Walmer. Swing and a miss. Go no and two. two and that's in the dirt. Oh, that's low. Two outs. Left field. Pulls it in on the warning track.
and welcome back. And now the right fielder, Bryce Harper. And a pitch. Harper. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Hammered. Base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. So, man aboard. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. On the ground, two ball. The throw to second. Now to first, and it's a double play. Jose Altuve up to it here. Swing and a miss. Strike one. <coughs> well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Five, nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here.
get ready to get underway. And now it's going to be Eddie Murray. The first baseman, Eddie Murray. And the pitch. Eddie swings, blast one. Deep left field. Fraley going back for it. Makes the catch for the out. Mike Yastrzemski up here. The left fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten One him up out. a little bit. That one ripped, but foul. The wind of the pitch. And a count one and two. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Mike Yastrzemski leaves the yard. Just like that, they move in front. It's one nothing. Here's Mookie now. And first offering is fouled off. Keller, he's the kind of starter that a lot of pitching coaches and managers as well really appreciate. Not a guy who's going to get himself into trouble by dancing around, by walking guys. One down, base is empty. Fouled off the plate, they'll do it again. Yeah, he throws strikes, and, you know, he's got the command, be in the zone, be effective. But just moving the ball around, getting the ball back no, from the catcher booth, and throwing the pitch. Right hander kicks deals. And that's outside. Oh. It's an interesting thing when you consider limiting walks. Is it more important today because of how. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way and out of here. Mookie Betts blasts one out, what? and they tack one on the board. It's 2 nothing. So one out, nobody on. Here is Marcus Simeon. on its way no question about it and that one will go Marcus Simeon goes deep and they boost their lead it's three nothing base is empty one away and here is Matt Chapman in there for strike one yeah I think the other part though as well as it goes both ways because I think the guys at times are more than willing to give up walks because they'll come back and strike the next guy out. That misses no off the outside edge. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Two outs, base is empty. And now, Sidane Rafaela. A change in the first, and here's the new arm, Brooks Raley. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And that's downstairs and outside. The 1-1. One -one. Foul ball. That one blasted deep to right. That's bad. And that ball is out of here. He leaves the yard to right, and they add a run. It's 4-0. Kyle Manzardo will hit next. Swings through that no one. 0-1. And a foul ball. One 
Left-handed hitter waits. Just missed. It's a good take. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Smoked on the ground a second. Altuve slings to first. And that is that. Here's some real power at the plate. Cedric Mullins. A pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Next offering is down low. Now a fly ball to right center. Betts is on the move. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball, and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Simeon makes the grab, and there's one away. Jake Fraley digs in now. In there, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Hairston. Now they get the out. Here's Pete Alonso. Batting four. The first baseman. And there's the strike. This guy's got oh, such one. a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Strike two. Okay. Mullins on third with two out. Your attention, please. Now, pitching. DJ Robinson. That just no, misses one and two to count. One ball, two strikes. And down on strikes. And that is that. New inning getting started. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jerry Hairston Jr. Jerry Hairston Jr. The wide to kick the pitch. Bounced out to short. Oh, great stop. Fires to first, but no chance. That's an infield single. The catcher, Austin. And here is Wells. Austin Wells. Yeah. That one finds the zone. It's 0 and 1. It's 0 and 1. Good eye right That's there. Ball. Good speed on the base pass. One he one. handles the bat very well. I would be surprised ball. if the skipper puts on some type Two of ball. hit and one run strike. or run and hit. The 2 1. Swinging a foul straight back. The next the pitch ball. misses, and it's three and two. Counted full. And ball four, two aboard. That one hurts right there, as they couldn't take care of the bottom of the order to start this inning. You turn the lineup over. Now this inning's set up to be something big for this offense. 
Ryan Helsley will take over here. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. In for a strike. Yeah, the count one and two. And that one hammered. Harper going back, back some more. That one is gone. A towering shot to right, and they tack up on three. It's seven nothing. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. He's already.